Uh, in this video, I'll be covering linear spaces. So what you are seeing here is basically what I did on the previous video. And then this video actually I'll be doing um, an example of uh, how we can uh, determine whether a given vector is a linear space or not. Okay. So if you need, uh, if you want to understand what is going on with the sheet, check uh, the previous video before this one. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this uh, the example that I'll be doing is from the 2013 uh, paper, and uh, it's question one, question one B. Actually, I skipped A because definitely I wanna do uh, linear spaces. Uh, showing you whether a given vector is a, is a linear space or, or not. Okay, so the question goes on to say uh, if W is the set of vectors x1, x2, x3 in R3 such that x2 is equal to x1 times x3, determine whether or not. Okay, let me write that one here determine determine whether or not w is a linear space okay so we need to, to determine whether w is a linear space now um okay what what i'm going to do is so uh, we need to show that um uh so let's let's say say assume like we were saying that w was a linear space like we're not determined w and then this vector here say it was x what we had to show was that um if we knew that w was a vector space what you had to show was that cx for the first rule that we described on the uh, on the first video we have to show that cx is an element on w okay but here we have w so what we can show uh, what we can possibly do uh, simple we can say let uh, just to add, add like at the end to be able to to have a conclusion a right conclusion uh, we can say let uh, let um, x be a linear space okay such that because w is giving us this vector here w is giving us that vector now take off this this x here so w is x y is is the vector so that we we'll need to show that c c w is an element of um, of of x where x is a linear space linear space okay now okay so we have that one so let's let's determine whether um c w will give us will will confirm we like uh, agree with the rule here this is our rule okay so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna say okay cw is the same as um, c x1 c x2 c x3 okay and then this can be written as according to the rule uh, we're gonna we should have c x2 must be equals to um, c x1 multiplied by c x c x3 okay uh, if you have to check this note that uh, okay I use double equal sign but Okay, sorry for that. You know that we, sometimes we are not allowed to use double equal sign, so you can take this step to to here. Okay, so okay, note that uh, what we have here is like a C C 
cx squared, c, uh, no, not cx squared, cx2 is equals to c squared x1 x3. And then definitely note that we have this c cancel out one of the c's here. And then we're having cx squared, I mean x2 is equals to cx1 x3, which does not agree with the rule. Therefore, what you conclude is that W W is not a linear space. Okay. Uh, say say uh, uh, you you do not uh, use uh, this definition of uh, multiplying the the vector by a constant, and then you want you you what you, the definition that you used was. Uh, that one where you where you create one uh, another vector in R three. Um, let me do it here. Show you how you can come about it. So we have okay. Uh, say we we have this W. So uh, let let y be um, another vector in R three, which satisfies the same rule. Okay. So let y be, I'll uh, say y1, y2, and y3, such that, such that, um, y2 is equals to x1, I mean y1, y3. Okay. Um, from the remember from the previous example, we need to show whether. When we add these two vectors in R3, like W, W and, and Y, we get the, the rule is satisfied. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is that we're going to add um, W plus Y. Okay. And then if we are to do that, uh, what we get is something like, uh, say x1 x2 x3 plus uh, y1 y2 y3 and then that gives us something like uh, uh, x1 plus y1 x2 plus y2 uh, x3 plus y3 okay now we're gonna take this, this uh, this factor here to the rule, and then it's gonna be, it's gonna be given as uh, x two, uh, our x two y, y x two and y two, it's gonna be uh, on the first on the first uh, on the left hand side. So it's x2 plus y2 is equals to um, is equals to x1 plus y1 x1 plus y1 multiplied by x3 plus y3. Okay. Uh, now check that. What we're gonna have is actually something like a x1 x1 x3 uh, plus plus x1 x3 plus um, x1 y3 plus y1 x3 plus um, y1 y3 plus y1 y3 and then here we're just gonna have what we we had here x2 plus y2 and then if you are to look at this there's no way that we can group the x the the vectors from the w and the and those the vectors from from y such that they're gonna satisfy the rule because know that here we have like uh we have a here we have a single term but when you get here know that uh the terms containing y we have this term one the second term and then the third term we got like three terms 
and uh, and then what we had to to show us is what we had to do was is just to get a single term. So definitely, even when you're applying this rule, um, W is not a linear space. Okay, so this this is all that you need to know about how to determine whether a vector uh, is in a linear is a linear space or not. Okay, thank you for watching.